Hello, it's been a while. This video will cover everything that was added in the new long-awaited update to Pizza Tower, the Noise Update, along with a new playable character with his own moveset, new music, 22 costumes, a new game mode, and a new ending. There's many surprises in the new update, so get ready. The Noise is now a playable character in the form of a new game plus. You can play as him by beating the game once with any save file. Using his skateboard, he can kick off of walls and regain his speed once he lands. The kick boosts you into the air and can only be done a couple of times before you start losing altitude. He can also dash while doing this to spin himself around and gain horizontal speed. He has a grab pile driver and uppercut much like Peppino. However, his uppercut reaches much farther and his super jump can be performed without getting speed first. Combined with a speedy tornado attack that can defeat enemies and go through gaps, as well as a noise crusher that can break at blocks easily. Noise is an extremely fun character to play and is very well worth playing through the game again to try him out. Of course, the noise has brand new music for his escape themes, and as for the bosses, he also has trusty bombs. During bosses, instead of dashing, he can throw a bomb to attack the boss, allowing for much more range between you and the boss. As for the levels, Noise's transformations are often quite different from Pepino's, so I recommend you play the game's new update before watching the rest of this video. Really. No? Alright. I'll cover every transformation that got changed, so if it isn't here, it's probably the same. Or I forgot somehow. And by the way, title cards have a selection of noise drawings plastered over them to cover their original faces in a comedic way. Anyways, Noise's night transformation will turn around when hitting a wall, but he can still dive downwards to stop his momentum. Bombs can't be thrown, and instead Noise needs to run into the rats, blocking his path. As for Ghost Noise, he can dash to gain a burst of speed and break through blocks instead of simply just moving, like Ghost Pepino. When Noise gets his hands on Mort, he'll throw him like a boomerang and even through walls to reach Mort hooks. He can still double jump and destroy electric potatoes. There isn't much different with Fire Mouth Noise, but he does feel a lot more floaty than Pepino's variant. Barrow Noise, though, can wall climb when he hits walls instead of just boosting into the air like Pepino, allowing him to quickly get over some of the co's obstacles. On the other hand, Noise's Gustavo transformation is completely comical, turning into another clone of himself to continue on with the same moveset. Of an exception is made for Pig City, where Noise puts on a pair of gloves once he transforms, allowing him to climb under the rails of Pig City just like Gustavo would. Something of note is that Noise also grabs the pig's pork cuffs and throws the pigs around, instead of being trapped by them like Peppina, defeating the pigs after a little while. Also, Brick is reading a newspaper on the spot that allows you to get a chef task completed, which Noise can kick him himself. Noise's bubble transformation allows him to blow himself upwards to let him through some parts of Deep Dish 9 quickly, and his rocket transformation can no longer turn around by just changing directions on the ground like Peppino, but instead he can turn around by just hitting the wall, no more crashing into walls like Peppino, he can just simply jump out to get out of the rocket and speed up by holding a direction. I know I said I wouldn't cover transformations that only change visually, but Noise turns into a cute rat instead of a glob of cheese like Peppino when he is cheesed. Anyways, Noise brings a water bucket to Peppapot Factory. Why? Because there's a set of electric outlets that are hard to get past using Noise's moveset. His wall kick boosts him too far into the air, and his uppercut brings him way too far as well. So Noise simply splashes the water bucket to get rid of the outlets. If you're curious though, you can wall kick against the bottom, and quickly dash to go through without touching the top. When boxed into a mini noise, he can use his jetpack to fly smoothly through the air, and for as long as he wants, unlike Peppino's box transformation. During the refrigerator level, Noise is a brilliant idea to drink a beverage so that he isn't freezing anymore. No longer freezing, he can fly with his jetpack and kill enemies and break ice blocks, much like Pepper Papino can at the end of the level. However, once Noise gets his hands on the Pepper Pizza, he starts shooting fireballs occasionally to wreak havoc on nearby enemies. Although Noise could never get his hands on a revolver, his shotgun for war and don't make a sound is replaced with a rapid firing minigun. He's able to shoot downwards before doing a body slam. And finally, when he's jump scared and don't make a sound, Noise just straight up dies. And is shortly replaced by a clone. <sighs> that was every single transformation, but next thing I'll cover is the boss changes, new game mode, and the brand new ending. So keep in mind that there are massive spoilers ahead. Noise's fight was replaced with Doi's. His background is replaced with freakish faces, and he uses rocks instead of noise bombs. At the end of the fight, Perito comes in and takes away Doi's to his demise. As the next time you try and fight Doi's, he will be dead on the floor and you will immediately P-rank the boss. Thankfully, you can taunt in front of the boss gate three times to fight the Doys again. Vigilante never throws a revolver to Noise, so to get his revenge, Noise cheats during the draw at the end of the fight, shooting him before the sign comes down. And speaking on cheating, if fake Pepino's monster catches up to Noise during the chase at the end of the fight, Noise will scream a hellish scream at the monster until it runs away, allowing him to walk safely at the end of the chase. The secret new game mode is unlocked by falling down the tower right here just before the final boss fight, indicated by the rising smoke. 
You'll enter Peppino's house, which is a bunch of paintings hung up, and a giant out-of-order Peppino mech, which is very interesting. Once you leave, however, you'll unlock swap mode and you'll be able to go into main menu to switch your save file to swap mode. Same way you switch from Pepino to Noise, allowing you to switch between the two characters at will or play co-op with your friends. It even includes a competitive scoring system where whoever gets the most score in a level or least amount of hits in a boss fight is crowned the definitive winner. Finally, during the final boss fight, it's more or less the same until phase 3. The only difference is beforehand being Newt Noise using bombs and Pizza Head not throwing the Noise or Revolver to use. In Phase 3, however, Noise gets new music and goes Super Saiyan when Pizza Head throws all the bosses back up to the top of the tower, including the now dead Doys. Now that Noise is Super Saiyan, he uses a barrage of bombs to absolutely destroy the bosses, much like Peppino. While all the bosses are practically the same in this phase, Doys shows up to the fight useless because of obvious reasons. And Noise doesn't get Gustavo to help him out on his journey. Once Pizza Head is defeated, Noise goes completely insane and pulls out a massive Noise bomb, completely blowing up Pizza Head until he is face first into the ground. Of course, Noise just recovers by slapping himself. The final escape features new music and noise, saving Noisette and Noisy and his trusty water bucket, defeating other characters along the way. Winner! Once you get to the end, the ending shows a collage of all the drawings of noise used for plastering over the title cards, while an endless swarm of noises run from the now destroyed pizza tower. Let me know if there's anything I missed in the comments below. There's of course new rank screens for noise, a bit of new dialogue for Pizza Granny, and noise being able to kill some unkillable enemies such as Pepperman and the Hub. But yeah, subscribe yourself and I don't know. See ya.